shiny old down and watched it. I remember once upon a time, my father told me, yo, these rappers are just actors and entertainers. They're not really out there offering more foes. Now it's 2022, they really offering more foes. I want to bring you guys to 36-year-old Memphis rapper, Snooty Wild. Um, his real name is LaProctor Porter. Out of Memphis, Tennessee, in Houston. They found him inside of his car with one shot to the neck. Now, I want to show you guys the scene of the footage. Police, the story is going to read that the police, that, that he accidentally backed into a ditch. His car got stuck in the ditch on accident. Another car pulled up and was like, yo, homie, you need some help? And one gunshot, boom, in the neck. Now, those suspects probably will get caught because they're saying whoever it was was just riding in the hood. This is the classic definition of caught slipping. I want to bring you guys um, his Instagram. This is how all his fans found out. He posted, um, and it, it was on his Instagram page. Of course, somebody else posted this. It said, go on in body, but your name and legacy will live Forever, Team Yayo for life. Now, he got famous off that 2013 hit with Yo Gotti, Yayo. And I want to, that's the uh, footage that you guys sh saw in the beginning. Story's going to read, Preston Porter, April 23rd, April 23rd, 1985, February 26th, which was Friday, um, when he passed. They gave him a 50-50 chance. They're saying that they um, got the tip from spot, shot spotter. However, there was neighbors who actually caught the incident on camera. I do not have that footage. They're saying he was an American rapper, actor, singer, best known for his stage uh, single, Yayo, whose success helped launch his career. Actually, you know what? A lot of times I go to some of these rappers and I want to hear their songs. And his was actually dope. It's a few rappers I pulled up. And they actually do. His was decent. Um, his career now, the story's going to read that Houston Friday, second Memphis rapper. Y'all remember Young Dolph, of course. Yayo, that happened in Memphis. That's a tragedy, man. When you make it or just whatever, man, it's just like you just got to get away from your own community. Wild was found, popped in the neck in the ditch as should be around 2 p.m., which is early. It's 2, you know, in the afternoon. Texas police, um, it looked like he backed in there accidentally. Then the other vehicle pulled up, folks got out, and one shot, boom. I don't know if they was after him, if they was just on something else, um, I don't, they, they, some people said there was a suspected robbery, but I don't know if anything was taken. So it looked like they just saw him in a ditch and took that opportunity, saw who it was. All right, so now check out all the rappers who passed in 2021. We're just starting 2022. Check this out. This is just 2021. Um... Of course, I'm going to start with, I'm not going to start with the brother right there. I'm going to start with Baby CEO. I don't know half these young cats. Um, his real name, Jonathan Brown, tragically lost life January 20th, 2021. Following the, the rapper was only 20 years old. And a lot of these cats, man, had to, they whole life and had vet like pop smoke. Joe B was the dopest out of Alabama. He was definitely about to hold it as one of the dopest rappers in the game. And his hometown, old friends of his did him in. All right, so they're going to say social media post a violent um, lifestyle sparked uh, pff, guns, drugs, of course. I didn't even know uh, Biz Marquis. Those know the fat boys back in the 80s. Um, DMX, of course. I didn't even know uh, what bad chick was, whoa, Black Rob, uh, who got famous off the uh, single, whoa. All right, now these are some uh, other ones. Lil Loaded, Deshaun Marcus Robinson. It's Lil, Lo Lil Loaded, um, 31. 
I don't know him. Um, Shock G. I didn't even know Shock G from the Humpty Hump past. I didn't even know he was gone. Indian Red Boy. They say Shock G, Christopher J, a.k.a. Big Brother, rapper, announced Shock G. All right, so Indian Red. Three times in the in the head. Um, KTS Dre. I cover KTS Dre from here from Chicago. Um, July thirteenth, killed in an ambush. Chucky Thompson, uh, his publicist Tamar Justin, Billboard. Um, YNT one, twelve o'clock. Imani twenty two, Biz Marquee. Gonzo, uh, Young Kesey, October 31st, of course, Young Dolph, uh, Slim 400, oh wait, 33 is Slim 400, allegedly Slim 400, this dude, young, this cat, Kango Kid, it's not good for rappers, okay, and then of course, Draco the Ruler. Some of the people in your own town, man, I, I'm, I'm telling you. A lot of cats think that people in your own town is going to be happy that you got on. That is not the case. I can't count how many times I'll be telling people, man, that is not the case. All right, so now let me show y'all his Instagram page. This is his Instagram page right here. And he give a shout out. So this is how they let people know. It's saying going to your body, but going forever. And that's when everybody was like, what? Wait a minute. Hold up. But he had 272,000 followers. Um, Man, he did a song with Yo Gotti, man. And that's that's big time, man. That's dope. He gave a shout out. Uh, check this out. There. Him in the studio. Wait to succeed is never to give up. I keep telling people, a lot of people do not want to see you succeed. They and it be some of the cats in your own community, some of the cats that you would have put on. If you can't beat them, join them. Jealousy and envy rages in our community. This was the scene. That's the shot. One shot. To the neck. They gave him a 50 50 chance shot spot of technology that does not work here in Chicago. They uh, was alerted, went out there, found him in the car. They're looking for people in that community because whoever it was just ran upon dude, saw him in the ditch, and like, yo, what's going on, homie? Um, it was allegedly that they were looking for a woman and a man, but I don't know how true that is. Um, the street was English Street near Alice. I don't know those streets, but um, no suspects in custody as of yet. They're asking the public, if you know something, say something. So now, speaking on celebrities, y'all know I, I don't do celebrities much, but sometimes I do. This ain't making, this ain't adding up to me. This ain't adding up to me. Miss USA, Chelsea Chris, 30 years old. Now, don't get me wrong, mental health in our community needs to be addressed and it's raging and it can happen to anyone and it's the unspoken thing in our communities. But y'all know I'm the conspiracy theorist. I look at everything as like, um, hold up. Within, I posted this on my Facebook page. Within 30 days, two Miss Americas, two Miss Alabama, Miss USA. Everybody was cheering her for winning Miss, L Miss USA. First in the at first everything and everybody and it was the highlight of our life. She was blowing up, becoming a celebrity, getting paid, everything going for Miss Chris uh Chelsea Chris, Chris is on the left, that's 30. On the right is uh Zoe Sazo Bethel, 27, who's a conservative pro-lifer. But Miss USA Chelsea Chris, she was her mission was to Use her new celebrity status. Chris of North Carolina was a civil attorney who conducted free legal work for prisoners who may have been sentenced unjustly. If y'all watched that movie uh, with with uh, Jamie Foxx and Michael B. Jordan, that was in Alabama 
where they got death row inmates off. She was licensed in two states and earned a bachelor's degree, MA, Wake Forest, undergrad, University of South Carolina. And she was a track athlete. Chris also worked as a correspondent entertainer. She wanted to use her platform to help unjustly. And also, she was an outspoken uh, advocate for women. Coincidentally, Sozo was also a political conservative pro-lifer who wanted to use her platform to um, speak out against abortions. And 30 days after, 30 days of each other. So they're saying uh, Miss USA, Chelsea Chris left a note. Um, and took that plunge. I'm like, wait a minute, man. That don't sound right to me. It just don't. I'm just trying to tell you. Zozo. Now, they was trying to pass hers off as a car accident. And I read that. And it was a car accident, car accident, car accident. And then I read, wait a minute. She took a plunge in Miami. Three floors. Hers was in New York. Hers was in New York. Hers was in uh, Miami. And they're both saying... Um, one, they're saying that hers was an accident. Hers was... Anyway, rappers, come on, man. We got a long way to go, man. There's a lot of stuff going on. Rappers, y'all be careful out there. Man, it's it's, it's a beef with the NBA young boy. And uh, I don't even know these young cats, man. And they, man, I listen to some of their songs and they talking real greasy on their records, man. It's just for real dangerous, man. Uh, battle rap started off where you can battle rap somebody in the same room, and it was all cool. It was all love. It was just who's the best MC. And the worst you could call somebody was a suck MC. And you call somebody a suck MC in 88, they was like, oh, dang, suck MC. Now, I went back and watched FBG Ducks songs, and they like, I'm like, wow, however. Look, rappers, come on, man. Be creative. Let's find something else to rap about. Let's get creative. This is my motto here. How long are you going to cry and blame your oppressor before you get up off your knees and do what you goddamn Yes, before you get up off your knees and do it yourself. We got a mental health issue. We got a violence issue in our communities. It must be addressed. And I watched as the two young girls, uh, they were saying, oh, they need to help us with mental health issues. That's no, upset, no question. But we have to do it ourselves. If we won't help, let's give ourselves help. Anyway, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.